Okay, everybody, welcome. Uh, today we're going to use an alternate method to back up your Kindle books from an actual Kindle device. Most people have been having issues trying to use the Kindle for PC, and those people are usually the ones with Mac computers. So maybe this will help them, and maybe after February 26th, this is going to be our only option. Hopefully they won't kill this one too. Uh, for now, I'm using a Kindle Generation 11. It's a paper white special edition Gen 11, and it was released uh, before 2024. As far as I understand it, anything Gen 12, um, you, you can't use this method, and anything earlier than that, starting from paper white Gen 11 and earlier, it should work. So, in the description of this video, you're going to have a link for this particular repo. Uh, have a little collection of the tools that I've used so far, but we're only going to be concerned with the plugins since uh, I already have Caliber or Calibre installed. So this is a virtual computer that I'm using right now, and it's pretty much a blank canvas. I'm going to go into the plugins section here, and I'm going to get the DEDRM version 10.09 since we're working on a Kindle. I'm going to click on the zip file that we need. This is just a uh, text readme text files that came with the plugin and i'm going to go into this little arrow here it says download raw file i'm going to click it and it should be done uh, you cannot go you cannot do the uh, download zip because most of the files in this repository are way over 100 megabytes and unfortunately you cannot do that you got to do it one by one but anyway that's besides the point so we're going to go back into calibre which i have here opened up so fresh canvas is caliber version 7.26 and we're going to install that plugin that we just downloaded so we're going to go into preferences plugins and load from file load plugin from file and we're going to go into a downloads folder where we got the download and when i click it click open and say yes and restart when it restarts we're going to install one more plugin the one for the uh, kfx to allow Caliber to read KFX files. Go preferences, plugins. I'm gonna hit get new. And in this little box, I'm gonna put KFX. And uh, what, is, what is it not showing? KFX. There it goes. <clears throat> I'm sorry about that. And we're looking for the input. Double click it say yes and restart okay two down and we're going to go into my amazon account you're going to go into your amazon account okay minimize this and we're going to go into our devices come on devices you're going to go to your kindles or Kindle and you're gonna go and pick the one that you're gonna take the books from so in this case I'm using the Gen 11 I'm gonna click on that okay and I'm gonna copy my serial number I'm gonna put it in the clipboard I'm gonna minimize this open up and go back to Calibre I'm gonna go to preferences plugins I'm going to click the box that says show only user install plugins just to make this short file type. I'm going to click once on the DEDRM. I'm going to go to customize plugin. And the first one says Kindle e-ink ebooks. I'm going to click on that. Click the plus and right click and paste my serial number right there. Hit OK. Hit close. Hit OK. And then hit apply. All right. And also, I'm going to go into some common options here, I believe, is where I go. Uh, give me one second to confirm that. All right. Correction is output options. And I'm going to select the EPUB because we're going to be converting everything to EPUBs. And I'm going to tell my EPUB to be version 3. So that way I don't have to do this every time. Okay, apply, hit close. So we should be good to go. I'm gonna go ahead and plug in my Kindle. 
and see how it, see how it goes. So plug in the Kindle. I'm gonna switch over to the computer once more. All right, all right. I'm gonna close this. I'm gonna wait for Calibre to scan. Well, actually, already did scan the uh, the Kindle for all the possible files in there. So I'm gonna go into the device up here. These are technically all the books that it detected as being installed in that Kindle. 187 books. I'm gonna control A, right click, and add to library. And I'm gonna sit here and wait. And I'm gonna pause and come back when it's done. Okay, so it finished. We're gonna head back to our library part. And we're going to see that most of the files are all KFX. You can see that on the here on this side over here. Of course, we can't open those because oh, we got a zip there. So that's probably going not going to work. So as I understand the KFX um, dash zip are the ones that you can't crack, even though this one was published back in uh, 2021 anyway so so far one two anyway so for now we're going to go and we're gonna control a to select all of them and we're gonna right click we're gonna convert books in bulk and use already set up for epub if you check out the output, it's already set up for EPUB 3. We're going to hit OK. And it's going to convert those KFX into an EPUB. Whichever one does, does have DRM, it will fail. So out of 187, let's see how many we failed. All right, I'll be back when this is done. Okay, right, well, it's still converting. I noticed that I have a couple more KFX zip files, and that's the one. See, that's another failure right there. So if we type format KFX zip, you see that I have what is 10 KFX zip files. So far, I believe those are the 10 that are going to fail. Okay, so I'll be back. Still early stages, 160 to go. So I will be back and hopefully the count will not be greater than this 10 for failures. Okay. Bye. Bye. <clears throat> okay. This thing finally finished. Let's see the job report. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 10, exactly 10. So those 10 fail conversion. And those are the same 10 that we see here that are in the KFX dash zip. So I'm going to delete this since we couldn't, we couldn't remove the DRM for this one. So those are pretty much, we're going to have to get those books some other way. So delete the books from the library. And if I go back to the ones that did pass and we have a EPUB, you, double, you could click on the EPUB once and it should open up in the built-in Caliber EPUB ebook reader. And if it opens successfully, it's because we won. All right, so there you go. That is working. That's a nice picture. Oh, nice, nice, nice. Anyway, so out of 187 books, only 177 were successful. That is pretty good for um, for an alternate method. Okay, so I hope this video it's useful for you guys. Please like and share and subscribe to the little, to this little channel. That will help me out a lot.
Anyway, uh, video good night and take care, guys.